Sean Lynn with Pro Wrestling Enforcer. Again, Carlos Galli is on PWE. Galli Mania happens October 3rd, Cicero Stadium in Cicero, Illinois. And we know that the match will feature Mil Muertes, Aerostar, Arias, Drago, and Aramis versus Los Parks. That's yeah, yeah, not the match. That's just the way the oh. poster is set up. Oh, I can okay. Actually, I can probably give you most of the matches right now if you want. All right, good, good. Uh, well, I, I, yeah, the way it was set up, it made me think it was like some kind of like, uh, you know, five, you know, five on five or something like that. No, I was trying to do just like I, I try to keep I'll keep all the guys that are MLW involved uh, on one side and the rest on the other side. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, tell us uh, some of the matches we can expect. Obviously, uh, those parks. That's huge. Like you said, it's the biggest show you've done so far. You know, yeah, it's our biggest show. Done. That's going to be show four. I don't want to screw up, but I think it's 495, I believe, or 496. Okay. Uh, it's the biggest show we've ever done. It's the first time we go to Cicero Stadium in 12 years. Oh, wow. So that's a big deal. Um, the, but the, the matches themselves, for the first time in the U.S., as far as I know, Mila Muertz will be facing L.A. Park in a one-on-one -on -one match. Uh, oh, nice. <clears throat> So that's not that's what we haven't been uh, that's never been done, and uh, in another match it'll be the tag team uh, rematch between uh, Golden Gods and uh, Aramis and Aris for the Galley title. Okay. Drago and Aerostar will be taking on Golden Star and Traidor. Uh, L.A. Park and L.A. Park Junior. I mean, uh, hijo de L.A. Park and L.A. Park Junior. will be taking on. Um, Mecca Wolf and Laredo Kid. Um, <clears throat> Ricky Cruz has got Orion Creed and Jake Painter in his corner. He said he's got a surprise partner. It's going to be a four on four versus La Sociedad Boricua. Sociedad Boricua is bringing a guy by the name of Abad from Puerto Rico. He's there. He's a he's their guest Sociedad Boricua member for okay. that uh, for that weekend. So it's going to be a four on four. It's time for Ricky to either get payback or get his butt kicked, one or the other. I mean, he started the group. Now they're trying to kill him. Uh, Atomico Jr. will be putting on the, uh, the Discovery title against uh, Bryce Benjamin. Bryce oh, Benjamin nice. will surprise return to Galley after a couple of years. Cody Jones will be uh, putting the Undisputed title on the line against Arrow Boy. Arrow Boy is the only two-time champion. He's looking for his third title. So that'll oh, be wow. a really good match. Uh, let me think. We're doing a little, uh, 10 matches that night. So uh, we got a women's three-way right now is uh, Lady Tigres Paloma and Lady uh, Leslie La Muñeca. A tag match, Alas de Fuego and uh, Atomico versus Funever and Emperador. And then we got a tag match between, uh, you know, our up-and-coming stars, uh, Manny Cortez and Torero versus Furia Nocturna and uh, Psycho J. I think that's the 10 matches. I think I called them all out. Wow. Might be missing one. Uh, you have a stacked card, definitely. Uh, believe me, from from top to bottom, the the card is going to be good. Uh, you don't want to miss miss any part of it. We're not doing a pre-show. We're going right into the show. Like I said, it's our first time there. We're going to go all out on production and everything. Nice, nice. And so, talk about the decision to come back to the Cicero Stadium. Well, to be honest with you, the only way to bring in LA Park against Messias is that it had to be in a big uh, it had to be in a big venue. Mm -hmm. It was between the Odium and uh, Cicero Stadium. I personally wanted the Odium because it's a few blocks from my house. But uh, we did a, what do you call it, a, a poll. And uh, everybody, uh, not everybody, uh, good, I'd say 80% of the people pick Cicero Stadium. And, I, and it makes sense. It's more centralized. It's right. close to the suburbs. It's close to Chicago. You got public transportation. It just makes sense. Yeah, definitely. And I think the last time in that uh, LA Park was in the area, you know, he wrestled in that building. That's true. Uh, MLW sold out the last time he was there. I'm not saying he's the one that sold it out, but I expect yeah. a lot of the MLW fans to come out because uh, six of the guys on the card are MLW wrestlers. Definitely. And you've been following MLW. They're doing a lot more now with the, the Lucha Stars, you know. We have the, uh, you know, that Aztec Underground storyline going yeah, on. It, yeah. it got backed up a little bit because the tapings were in Tijuana. And because of COVID, COVID continues to kick wrestling's ass. Yeah. The tapings got backed up. Definitely. 
Well, the fans can definitely not have to wait for TV tapings, right? Because they're going to see all this, you know, all these stars live. Yeah, Gary they don't Mania. have to wait for. I mean, uh, if, you, if you're an MLW fan and you're like uh, watching the LA Park and uh, the LA Park Clan, Mil Muertes, uh, and uh, Ares Aramis were the up and coming guys in MLW, and uh, Dragon Arrows are at one time were in MLW. So uh, you got a good percentage of MLW guys there uh, for the for that one show. That's not including Laredo Kid, who's also been in MLW, currently doing right. Impact. Mega Wolf, who's like, I mean, he's all over the place, uh, but he's making a name for himself, like in Mexico and everywhere. So, I mean, the card is stacked from top to bottom. Uh, I don't think I, we've ever done a card. I don't think there's been a card this big in years in in Chicago, as far as Lucha Libre is concerned. Yeah. We got 11 guys coming from uh, Mexico that are like the, some of the top stars. Definitely, definitely recognizable. And, you know, you've had some, also some debuts in Galley. You know, I know you had ASF. That was his first time in Galley. Uh, you had yeah, him uh, earlier We're definitely going to have him back pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, we had Christy Jane, and we're going to have her back pretty soon. Uh, and we're look, looking to, you know, to work with other people along the line. For sure. And then when Laredo Kid was added, because originally he wasn't on the original poster, you know, talk about how special... That is to have him on this show. That little kid is the one guy I can't believe isn't signed yet. I right. mean, he's wrestled everybody. Uh, if anybody saw the match with him and Kenny Omega, who's was off the charts, he just recently had a one-on-one -on -one with Andrade. I mean, this guy's wrestled every top guy. And uh, I mean, uh, except for WWE, he's wrestled every top guy. I'm surprised he hasn't been signed. Um, yeah. I mean, he's one of the, he's one of the best luchadors in the world. Uh, we always joke with him because he's he's been a lot of people don't know he's he was in AAA at 17, so he's okay. been around forever. So like guys make fun of him like uh, guys his age are saying I used to watch when I was a kid on TV, and uh, mm -hmm. we were talking about it and like yeah you, uh, seriously I started watching him on TV literally 15 16 years ago. Wow. So and and he's still a young guy. <laughs> he's still with AAA though. I mean maybe that's that's kind of the reason why he might not be signing where else. He's not. The thing is, he's allowed to sign somewhere else. He's just. Okay. I think he's. Uh, he's been a little picky because I think he's doing good on the indie scene. You know, there's a handful of guys who actually do better on the indie scene. He may be one of them. True. Yeah. He had a great ki uh, match at the um, Black Label Pro. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I think yeah. I think uh, <laughs> when he had that match with Kenny Omega, I thought that was going to get him signed, and Nothing. it didn't. So. I, I I just don't see him going another year without signing with one of the big companies. No, me neither. I could definitely see him AEW or Impact Wrestling full time. That could definitely right, happen right. for him. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, you know, he had a, a a great match with Lee Moriarty. Oh yeah, and uh, uh, that was it. Uh, you told me at uh, Black Label Pro. Yes. So he's so versatile. You know, he can work. Oh, he can work anybody. That's the yeah. thing with him. And he's always got, I mean, he brings new stuff to the, every time he comes to the show, he brings something new to the table. For sure. I, he was one of the few, one of the only uh, wrestlers I got to actually spend a few hours with. A couple hours with, we helped him uh, try to get to his photos, uh, his autographs uh, printed out. This is an old story from 2017. It was at Blitz. And uh, they asked me to do me a favor and, uh, take him to get his autographs printed out. And so oh, we tried cool. a couple of places and I didn't, I don't really tell this story much, you know, I, I don't, but it's like, we went to a couple of different places. We couldn't get them in color. We got them in black and white. Then he gave me one later on in the evening when he saw me, but yeah, real nice guy. I got to, you know, get into his mind about the business. And that was back in four or four years ago. Yeah, like I said, he's a great guy, uh, he, and then I'm surprised he hasn't been signed. Well, I hope, hopefully, it'll happen for him. I mean, we, we see a lot of opportunities, you know. Uh, yeah, like I said, that's a cool story with Laredo. I remember he actually tagged with Garza on that show. Okay. If I don't, because I, I yes, I yes, on, he did. I watched it on the internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. They won that night. I think they won the Blitz titles, but that was the end of Blitz. Yeah, that was the last night of Blitz Pro Wrestling. Right, right. I remember because yeah. I actually actually watched. I hardly ever buy indie shows online, but that was one of the few that I did. Okay, that was one, yeah. of, one of the matches I was looking forward to watching. Oh, of course. Well, I had Taya Valkyrie was on there versus Gail Kim. You had, uh, you know, 
few quite a few of the lucha no underground was on that card no muertes yeah yeah so it was it was definitely uh influence heavily by lucha underground and you know obviously this is going to be another big card and you know lucha underground just happened you know just just a few years ago <clears throat> people still like close, the but, you gotta yeah, remember we did we did golly underground too uh what was it two or three months ago mm -hmm. and it packed the house people still like the buzz the whole lucha underground concept that's I mean, true look at the man look at messias william muerte has revived his career <laughs> <laughs> for sure yeah, I mean, uh, Mil Mertes, obviously, you know, coming in, into this is going to be a huge uh, match for him in L.A. Park, right? I mean, you said it's the yeah, first I mean, time they've time, wrestled. Uh, they've they've yeah. faced each other in Mexico. I think it's the first time they do it in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And when they did it in Mexico, they almost killed each other. So th th these were the exact words from Mil Muertes. He said, we're going to tear the roof off this real stadium. Awesome. That's going to be it's going to be a hell of a it's match. My, it's my first experience working with L.A. Park, so let's see how that goes. Okay. Well, hopefully you can uh, bring him back again. Hopefully it, it goes well. Well, this is the thing. Uh, I don't know if uh, people know the biggest names in Mexico are L.A. I mean, the big uh, ticket sellers right now are L.A. Park. Uh, Wagner is one of them. Uh, the mm -hmm. other one. And I actually opened my mouth. And when I open my mouth, I like to keep it. Keep my word. I said, if we pack Cicero Stadium, we're bringing Wagner in December. <laughs> awesome. So I would love to have that match in the U.S., and to be honest with you, I mean, I'm a, I'm a fan too. Mm -hmm. Not a big fan of uh, some of the guys I bring in myself, but I, you know, I got to listen to the fans too. Definitely, definitely. If I only they bring make... in guys that I like, and I'll be running a show for myself. Right, of course. I, I definitely get it. And yeah, your, your fans are definitely a big part of Galley, what makes Galley so special, you know, right? You've had fans right. that have been there since the first show. Well, we got fans that go, and we run every week, they're here. We got a little group. I want to say, are 50 faithful. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, I get a little bit of complaints when this show came. I had two people literally decide not to go because they couldn't get front row tickets. And oh, I said, no, I said, the front row is always reserved for the locals that are here, the guys who are here, whether right. I wrestle or me and Martha's wrestle, they're here. <laughs> right. So they get, they get a little bit of a perk for that. You know, it's like I gave them first choice on the front row and they bought it all out in the first day. Definitely. It's a hot ticket. Everybody check it out. Check out the Galley Facebook uh, page uh, for more information on tickets. And you guys are doing a little bit of a VIP thing. Yeah, VIP on. is going to be a meet and greet. Uh, some people are holding off because they said they wanted L.A. Park and meet and greets. He's famous for not doing them, but he oh. agreed to it and he actually made a video I mean, confirming he's going to be at the meet and greet. <laughs> okay. So now I can honestly say every wrestler will be at the meet and greet. <laughs> Yeah, well, he actually did a meet and greet at the uh, Warrior Wrestling, but it was after the show. Right, but uh, he yeah. normally doesn't want to do them, especially since the pandemic. He's done very few. Oh, okay. I, I so definitely one understand. of the deals was, you know, it's the first time you come, people want to see you. Come on, give me a break. And he was good with it, so. Cool. And talk about the women's division, Galley. Has it grown lately? And you feel like this will eventually lead to first ever? I'm, I'm not sure if you had this in the past. Have you had a Galley women's champion in the past? We never had one. We're looking forward to having the first one. Uh, we, we we never really developed girls. We had girls that are trained in Cali through the freelance school before. Right. And that really developed. I mean, Kylie Ray was training her first classes were here at the Cali ring through the freelance school. Elena Black, like that was her, you know, one of her first stops. Uh, but uh, we never had our own girls that really developed. We have right now uh, Lady Tigres and Leslie. They're only 16, but they're, I mean, they're getting there. It's taking them a little longer, but they're working their butt off. And now we're bringing in, I mean, we had Sky Blue here regularly for the last few months, but uh, right now I see her going, so, you know, I think she's going to be on the AW radar from now on. So oh, okay. we'll see. I don't know how much she's going to be able to come anymore. Uh, but we got Paloma, who's been here for a couple of years now too. And now we're looking to work with other girls. I mean, we're, we had Christy Jane come in. Uh, Miss Akate will be coming in soon. Uh, Blair Onyx will become a regular. Uh, so we're looking forward to having a strong women's division going into 2022 and crowning the first women's galley champion. Oh, so that's news to me that Sky Blue is uh, of AEW. Or it looks like well, it I don't know if she's signed yeah. yet, but I mean, every indication. Yeah, I mean, she got invited to the Casino Royale. 
Uh, right. She has been canceling some uh, indie bookings. I know she's still trying to finish up the ones, some of the ones she had. But uh, at the end of the day, I honestly think she's going to end up at AEW. Not saying that they can't come out. As far as I know, they're letting them. Uh, some of them are allowed to work outside of AEW. They're not right. exclusive contracts. Uh, we have uh, Dante Martin coming back after a couple years uh, in, uh, I want to say November. Okay. Nice. So, you know, he used to come in with uh, his brother when they were masked, Airwolf and uh, Angel Dorado. So it'll be the first time he... Actually, I take that back. One time last year on a show, they finally took the masks off in Galley. Mm -hmm. But that was uh, in honor of Black Lives Matter. And that's when they started dressing without the mask. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, that'll be exciting to see Dante Martin back. He's one of the top guys in uh, AEW now. It's been featured, so... Yeah, yeah. I'm good. definitely looking forward to having him here. I mean, the next few months, we're, we're going to have Ray Odo's back from Ring of Honor after a couple of years. Um, and uh, just, uh, well, I don't want to say regulars, but they pretty much everybody sees them as regulars now. I mean, you're going to continue to see Aramis, Ares, Mil Muertes. Uh, we signed a deal with Psycho Clown for three more dates. So Awesome. Uh, you're going to see all the top stars. Right now, the big rivalry in AAA is Psycho Clown versus La Empresa, which is Diamante Azul, Puma King. They're coming as a group in November, so that'll be the first in the Chicago land area too. Yeah, so many big time uh, exclusive first time Eric Galley. You guys always bring right. a great show. So, right, uh, we've been we've been babying our fans, but now I think it's time to do stadium shows. We're going to be doing Cicero Stadium November. We're still waiting on a venue. It turns out Cicero Stadium is not available, but November seventh is already booked as our next big show with Psycho Clown and La Empresa coming in, Iguana, a few other people. And then on uh, December, we, we do our first trip to Iowa at uh, River Center in Iowa, one of the nice arenas in Iowa. We're, we're taking uh, the, the Gali Underground concept uh, to Iowa. Oh, wow. So yeah. that's, that's, that's going to be exciting. And then uh, we end well, the year with Gali Navidad with another big bang for the, so for the end of the year show. Definitely. Wow. So Gali is definitely uh, uh, is on the radar for all the wrestling fans out there. Make sure to check out Gali Mania. It's going to be huge. And, you know, go to the Facebook page for ticket information, the VIP. You just heard what he said about, you know, they're going to have uh, LA Park do the meet and greet. So that's going to be huge as well. And Mil Muertes and all the big stars at, uh, at, of, um, you know, AAA, all the big stars of MLW, you know, Carlos, it's always a pleasure to have you on uh, Pro Wrestling Enforcer, man. And, uh, you know, we look forward to talking to you again on the show and you know, tell us again why people should come out. It's our biggest October show. 495 shows and counting, and that's our biggest show ever. And we expect to the Cicero Stadium to be packed, uh, where you're going to see first time ever in the U.S. meeting Muertes versus L.A. Park. And a bunch, I mean, just a bunch of superstars. And don't forget some of, like, some of the best wrestlers already in the Midwest are at Galley. So we'll see you guys there. Definitely. Well, I appreciate you, Carlos, uh, being on Pro Wrestling Enforcer. I know you you have a busy, uh, you know, week ahead of you. And, you know, get plenty of rest. And uh, we'll see you out there. All right. Thanks a lot. Anytime, Carlos. Take care. Appreciate you Bye. being on the show. Take care. Bye.